فمن آمن so whoever what فمن آمن من whoever آمن whoever believes و means what and and وأصلها does good okay so وعمل الصالح أصلها means to correct right أصلها is a very comprehensive word which I'll go into a little bit maybe فلا so then there is not فلا خوف خوف is same as أردو fear عليهم on them ولا and not home for them يحزنون حزن is what حزن is also أردو يحزنون sadness so whoever believes and makes إصلاح then there is no fear for them and no what? Sadness for them. So this is the ayah we're going to understand from psychoanalytical perspective today. I have a question. If there was no ego and there was only the self, so you have yourself, yourself, and there's no ego, how would you perceive the world differently? Let me help you by telling you this. When you have an ego, you are reacting to the world. So, I'm angry. That's ego. I'm reacting to the world. Something happens, and my ego makes me what? React to the world. If there was no ego, what would there be? No judgment. Okay, what would be, okay, you said a key word just before the real, the second part of your statement. If there was just khudi, myself, if it was just nafsi, without the ana, how would you perceive the world? You would be just simply aware of what is happening, without what? Without acting. Without reacting to it. You would be aware someone is yelling at you and you would acknowledge someone's yelling at you but you would not what? Be reacting to the fact that someone's yelling at you. So the self is the awareness and the ego is what allows the person to what? React. I gave this example yesterday and uh, I will talk a little bit about it today and in a little bit more detail maybe. That the first pain, one of the first pains a child experiences is when the child says for the first time no to the parents. Have you ever noticed how kids when they start saying no they love, they love to say no all the time? Because the parents see the child as an extension of their will. And if the child becomes an extension of the parent's will, that means that they'll do what? Always do what the what? The parent want. They don't become themselves until they say what? No. No. Now I have reacted <coughs> to you and I've become someone separate from you. Right? In fact, when the baby is born and see, the first thing, the baby is not seeing itself, it's seeing what? The mother. And in fact, the baby perceives itself to some extent as being the, the mother in the beginning. And uh, that's an interesting study case, but what I want to explain is that, can you imagine how, and this is why Freud emphasized the relationship between the parents. Uh, because when Allah said to, for example, the angels and to Iblis, bow down to Adam, right? Until then, until that moment, the history of the universe as we know it was everything was an extension of the will of what? Of Allah. Of Allah. This is the first time in history, someone's going to say no to Allah, right? Like, wow, what an amazing event. And 
Shaytan refused Allah Aba was Takbara. He refused Allah, but his istikbar was against Adam. Right? His his trying to become bigger, or I'm better than he is. His istikbara, his istikbar was against Aba was takbara. Aba and minal minallahi azza wa jal. Wa in istikbara min al Adam. Ala Adam. Ala Adam, huh? So so here it is that Adam okay so you have Iblis and his ego comes out he says no and you know what the word Iblis means Ablasa Iblisu means what what does the word Iblis mean there are many words some people use the word Shaitan but Allah gives him the title what Iblis Iblis what does Iblis mean who knows the result, and this is going to be, Chal, if I'm able to explain this properly, you'll see that there's some interesting results from this. Iblis means to be hopeless. To be absolute hopeless. And that tells you that when you are reacting only based upon your ego and not based upon your awareness, which we can talk about, what is awareness? But... When you're only reacting to the world based upon as a reaction, right? Someone says something, you became agitated, you're reacting. Like, for example, a lot of times you're angry, and you know you're angry, and you're yelling at the person, but your self is saying, or your eye is saying, why am I angry with this person, right? It's happened to all of us. Like, you're yelling at your child as a reaction, but your self is saying, hey, you shouldn't be doing this, calm down. Right? Or, what hell else? Guilt comes in. You're yelling at your husband. <laughs> right? And because it's the reaction. It's the ego. But inside you're feeling guilty that you're, you yelled at him too much. Maybe. So, one of the aspects of the self is guilt. That's one of the many things that make the self. Okay. So, ego is always what? Reacting. And if there was only the self, you would be aware and you would do things not as a reaction, but because it's a decision you've made to do something, not as a reaction. Okay? That means, I'm going to make this as a side point, but it's an Im 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 important point. You could be wanting something because you're reacting to something, and you could be wanting the same thing without necessarily reacting to something. You're wanting the same thing, but not necessarily as a reaction, but as a result of your awareness, you want something. You want something as a result of your awareness, you want the same thing as a result of because you're reacting to something. Uh, I'll hold on to examples in a little bit. Um, now, let's go back to what I said about <coughs> the child. So the child, for the first time, says to the parents, no. Big, big deal, because this is the first time the child, in his small little history, has identified himself to be separate from what? From the parents. Okay? It's a landmark for this child to separate himself in such a drastic way by asserting no. Now, why am I talking about this? Because that breach in that relationship, see, Adam disobeyed Allah, and Iblis also what? Disobeyed Allah. But one was able to heal the relationship, and the other was not able to heal the relationship. The breach between the child parent. The difficulty in the child-parent relationship is the child is built to walk away from the mother, right? And the mother wants to keep the child to herself. But the child's built to walk away, to become their own individual. And to do that, they have to learn to say what? No. It becomes a very difficult situation. 
On the one side, you want to be who you are as an individual. On the other side, you want your parents. So you, ha your parents want you to be who they want. And one of the difference, one of the interesting things is, is that if the parents assert themselves too much then he's going to assert back, the child will assert back with their what too much, their no too much, in reaction to that, right? One of the things, you know, people say, and then if you get what I'm going to say, it's going to be interesting, because um, let's see how I can say this. A lot of times the way we react with one another as Muslims, and we complain, you know, why is it that we're differently reacting to non-Muslims and we react another way amongst Muslims? One of the ways is, one of the reasons. Now, let's say it's not your parents there, it's somebody else. But somebody that reminds you of your parent and you learned as you grow up to say what to your parents? No. Okay? Now, somebody else comes along and they remind you of what? Their parents. How are you going to react to them? Let's say your, your, your dad talked to you in Pakistani English. Okay? And now another uncle comes by and he also talks to you in Pakistani English. Some commonality will happen that when he's talking to you, you're also going to react to him the same, same way at a very subconscious level. Why do we overreact amongst Muslims, amongst ourselves? Why do we overreact sometimes when we're dealing with each other, but we don't overreact when we're dealing with other people that are not in our family of the Muslim world? Why do you think that is, from whatever I've said so far? I always want the answer for this question. Well, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want the answer. I'm giving you a part of a piece of the answer not an absolute answer. Part of it is, is that we, it's like your siblings. Your siblings also remind you of your what? Your situation, your parents, and you've reacted to them. The, not, the stranger, the non-Muslim in this case, the stranger, there's, not, there's no perceived cognition, there's no there's no subconscious baggage. There's no subconscious what? I'll give you an example. Okay? You have Molbi Saab in Pakistan. You have an Alim in Pakistan. Right? So you see Sheikh Umar Baloch here, you say, oh, Dusra Molbi Aage. Right? Right? Just another Sheikh is here and he's going to be just as. But, may not be true. But your reaction is going to be the same. So the Muslim, when we are, when we are with our parents, in, in the Muslim world, we have a certain pain. And whatever that pain is, which can be identified, but that pain is such that we are always, what? Overreacting with one another. With one another. But we are not overreacting when we're put in a new environment with a new set of people that are different from people that we don't carry any baggage with. Does that make sense? This is very sad. It's really sad. I mean, uh, he has a story like uh, Muhammad tells them when, when you went to the Hajj with one time. Yeah, when we left from New York City, going to Jeddah, everybody was organized. Uh, and we were making a haram and very respectful. The same group. They treat each other with respect. Uh, once we landed there, uh, you know, it was chaos. Yeah, you know, like been no me. lines, nothing. I don't know what happened. The like, same group. Like a sign says, you know, it's okay to be, uh, <laughs> you know, animals. anarchy. It's okay <laughs> he to was shocked. Animals. He was shocked. What happened? The same group. They were. Yeah. In JFK, in a organized and matter. civilized, and, and then in, in one line, and when they go to when they went to Jeddah, they were aligned in that horizontal line. So this is a perfect.